Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Good Coffee at Home with Tag. Today, we're gonna go over the AeroPress, a fairly common brew method in people's homes. We're gonna need a bag of Tag coffee, an AeroPress, and the filters that come with it, a scale, if you don't have a scale, the classic tablespoon coffee scoop that we always use will work. A cup to work as a decanter to catch your coffee. And a grinder. If you don't have a grinder, you can always order it pre-ground at tagcoffee.com. There are a few different methods that people use when brewing with an AeroPress. Levi used to use the inverted method, but today we're gonna show you the standard method because last time he used the inverted method, he burned his hand. So the AeroPress comes in three different parts, four including the filter. The top part that we press with, the bottom part that holds the grounds, and the plastic part at the bottom that we place our filter into. The first thing that we want to do is weigh our coffee. For this recipe, we're going to use 20 grams of coffee or two and a half scoops. We're gonna grind this coffee medium fine. The first step is going to be to detach the plastic part that holds the filter and place a paper filter inside it. Take your boiling water and very carefully pour water over the filter, making sure that you don't burn yourself. Like always, this just gets rid of the paper taste that often seeps through into the coffee if we don't rinse it first. We're gonna reattach the plastic part that holds the filter and set it on top of our cup. After you have placed the bottom part of the AeroPress onto your cup, carefully pour your coffee grounds. Maybe use something better than the bowl that we use to pour the coffee in there. Now we're gonna take our boiling water, start our timer, and pour a very quick 100 grams. After you've poured the 100 grams, place the top of the air press in and pull up a little bit. This suction will cause the dripping to pretty much stop and let the coffee bloom. After 45 seconds of letting the coffee sit in there, we're gonna remove the top part of the air press and pour another 210 grams of water in. We want to pour this a little bit aggressively so that we mix up all of the coffee and make sure they're all soaked with water so that they can brew well. Our final pour will be 310 grams on our scale. After you have finished pouring all of the water, Put the top of the air press in at an angle, push it in a little bit, and then pull up. After two minutes, we're gonna take everything off of our scale and start pressing down. We can use these numbers as indicators for time. Each number will be about 15 seconds. So at 2.15, we're at the three. At about 2.30, we're at the 2. At 2.45, we're at the 1. And we will continue to press down, ending the press at 3 minutes. After you hear a hissing noise, you'll pull up the top of the air press a little bit and it'll stop dripping so that you don't make a mess.
Take a spoon or the back end of a coffee scoop and stir your coffee. Do we do a good video? High five. Good girl. <laughs> Thank you.